أسعد الله أوقاتكم مشاهدينا الكرام وأهلا وسهلا بكم في حلقة جديدة مع برنامج رواد الأعمال كما عودناكم في كل حلقة معنا اليوم مس جين من جي سي سي بورد دايركترز انستيتيوت هلو جين Good morning, Abdul Razak. Good morning too, and thank you for being with us in our program. Oh, it's a pleasure, and thank you to ABC Golf for inviting me. First of all, would you please tell us more about you and about your beginning with GC, GCC Board Directors Institute? That would be a pleasure. So, GCC Board Directors Institute is the Institute of Directors, of Board Directors, for the six countries of the Gulf. Uh, we were founded in 2007 as a not-for-profit company by Saudi Aramco and Sabic, by Emirates NBD and Investcorp, who also invited McKinsey, PwC, Allen and & Overy and Hydrogen Struggles to help them form the Institute in order to support board directors in the region and board secretaries. I've been with the Institute now for, for seven years here in Dubai. We also have a trading license in Bahrain and we've just registered a company in Saudi Arabia as well. Wonderful. So would you please tell the audience what exact thing and what services your company is offering in the market? Absolutely. So we, we started off in life really providing professional development for board directors in order to build board director competencies, skills and knowledge, improve boards in the region, improve board effectiveness, raise the standards of corporate governance at, at the highest level. Um, so we specialize in professional development for board directors, aspiring board directors and board secretaries. Um, but obviously our services go way beyond that as well because we try to provide a microcosm, if you like, of an environment for our participants and our board directors and our board secretaries from the moment that they embark on their career to the end of their career. So our services include anything to do uh, with the board, could be designing a board induction program, helping them with the delegation of authority or the policies and the charters or the corporate governance frameworks, um, obviously the professional development. It could be helping the board secretariat to be structured in order to provide the services needed for the group. And uh, we do board evaluation, so just like you or I might be evaluated in our role, it's best practice today for boards also to be evaluated and we provide third party evaluation services. And then, of course, we have uh, some research. We do quite a lot of research and surveys and reports. And finally, we have a whole membership organization. So once you have gone on one of our workshops, you automatically become a member of the Institute. You become an associate member. And if you wish, that, that those services are free. And if you wish, you can then become a full member of the Institute. There's an annual fee for that. But then there's a whole raft of additional services that you get, which includes mentorship, our study trips, our Ask the Expert series, our uh, technical advice, our legal uh, updates every month, and our directors register and board opportunities. So there's, there's, there's a whole range of, of services to help support board directors, board secretaries, really fulfill their role to the best of their abilities. Wonderful. So, Jean, we would like to know what's your secret to be successful and what's your specialty here in this institution? So I think that our speciality is the fact that we are homegrown. We were set up by, as I said, these four regional companies, Aramco, Sabic, Emirates NBD and um, Investcorp. And now we have uh, first Abu Dhabi Bank and National Bank of Bahrain as strategic partners as well. Um, and the very fact that we were, we're homegrown, I think, is quite unique. It's a bit of a niche area. Um, many people might not have heard of us, your audience, but know that um, it is important to have good governance in any country, in any company, because that is how we move from being an emerging market to a developed economy. And it doesn't matter whether you look at Vision 2030, uh, the latest uh, uh, mission from uh, our, our rulers, but at the end of the day, corporate governance is, or good governance is at the heart of that. And it's the foundations on which, on which we build a good economy, a strong economy, and a sustainable future. So it, it's extremely important. So I think our differentiating factor is we're very focused on 
on what we do uh, and uh, on boards and board directors and board secretaries. Um, we're homegrown to help the boards in the Gulf and the six countries of the Gulf. And we've been doing this for 16 years, long before anybody was talking about good governance, before the financial crisis. Um, and I think it was very visionary of our leaders at that time to think about setting up an institute. And today, corporate governance, sustainability, ESG, we're going to have COP28 in the region in, in, in Dubai later this year. These are all hot topics now, which we've been talking about for, for many, many years. So um, I think we're, I think we're in the right place at the right time right now. And that, that's really what is quite unique about us. Wonderful. So now let's move to future. Over 15 years of successful. Mm -hmm. What's your future plans and what's your vision for the future? Gosh. Well, I think there's still always more to do, right? Um, we've, we've done a lot over the last 15, 16 years. We've come a long way from being a small not-for-profit organization to being a larger organization today. But the idea is to continue the expansion. I think there were 51 um, new companies listed on the stock exchanges in the Gulf last year alone. That's massive number of companies going to, put, to list themselves. And um, therefore, the demand for good governance is definitely increasing and will continue to increase. Uh, we will see more companies this year listing. The UAE is leading the way in that, as is Saudi Arabia. So I think that um, we will continue to expand with the needs of the market, with the needs of our clients and our customers to help support the economies in the region. As a support for all type of businesses, you are a great institution here. What's your advice for any potential businessman or woman who want to start their own business here in Dubai? I think Dubai is a, is a wonderful place to start your business, first of all. I think we have one of the most tolerant countries in the world here in the UAE, and we have a wonderful environment to help support startups um, and businesses of any type here. Um, and it's a very dynamic uh, uh, environment to, to operate in. Um, my advice for any, any business would start with thinking about your governance from day one. A lot of startups and small businesses really think it doesn't apply to them. It's only the big companies, the large multinationals or the listed companies that need good governance, but that's not true. And it, if we're going to build a sustainable and a solid business, which is going to grow, we need to put in slowly the governance frameworks um, that are adapted to our needs. So start thinking of governance and what it might mean for your organization as soon as you can. Do you think that being a new E is one of your factors to be sex to get all of this success through all of these years? I think it's been an important contributing factor. There's absolutely no doubt about that, Abdul Razak. Um, for starters, the uh, Dubai International Financial Center has been up until now the only jurisdiction which recognized not-for-profit companies. And that was extremely important to us as an organization. Um, now, the new Saudi company law is recognizing not-for-profit companies, and I'm sure we'll see others follow, but Dubai has definitely been the leader, and therefore we've always had our base and our hub here um, for that very reason. And, and the DIFC is a very friendly environment um, to work in. They're extremely efficient, very helpful, um, and, and we've been blessed, I think, to, to be here. And I, I've no doubt that has helped our growth. Finally, we want to thank you. And we need to tell everyone how they can reach and contact with you and with your institution. That's very kind of you. Well, website, all right. Go to www.gccbdi.org or just Google GCC Board Directors Institute if you're interested to find out more. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you very much, Jean. We hope you the best, you and all the stuff here in GCC Board Directors Institute. Thank you very much, Abdul Razak. Thank you to you and your team. Thank you. إلى هنا أعزائي المشاهدين نختتم حلقتنا لهذا الأسبوع تابعونا كل جمعة وسبت على قناتكم ABC الخليجية وعلى مواقع التواصل الاجتماعي دمتم بخير وفي أمان الله